Hey everyone, today we're excited to show you the Inspire One Pro with the new Zenmuse X5 Micro Four Thirds camera. Now the goal of this video is to walk you through any of the changes that have been made to the original Inspire in the development of the Inspire One Pro in terms of the aircraft itself. And then we'll be walking through a detailed comparison of the different cameras, the Zenmuse X3, the X5, as well as a Panasonic GH4, so you can have a really good idea using raw footage and specifications side by side of what you can expect out of these cameras. So let's jump right in and take a look at some of the differences between these copters. One of the initial things you'll notice is a larger vibration absorbing mount here, which connects the camera and the gimbal to the craft. This is much larger to make up for the heavier and longer gimbal system and extends about mid-length down the craft here compared to a much smaller system over here. And you can see the rubber dampeners on the new mount are a little bit stiffer compared to the original on the X3 here. There's a little bit more play with the X3. And you can actually upgrade your Inspire 1 to hold the X5 using that new mounting system and use either camera. Um, the X3 will fit on that new mount system as well. So next thing we'll move into the camera actually sits a little bit lower to the ground and so they've added these about half an inch boots on the bottom here to raise the copter and ensure the safety of your gimbal. Let's take a look at the motors here. You'll definitely notice there is a difference in what's on top. The Inspire 1 Pro has a new propeller mounting system and this will be the third version for the Inspire 1 series. You can see on the propeller here this is a new one. It has a keyed insert and you simply Line that up, press into place, and you'll actually turn the mount instead of the propeller. So you turn the mount about 45 degrees and lock that in place. It's really secure. Some people were complaining that with the last spring-loaded design that there was a little bit of play, and there's definitely none of that here. It's locked in place, and that's not going anywhere. So we're really excited about that. Next thing here is the Inspire One Pro comes with a gimbal clamp that just attaches here and actually affixes to the frame itself so all your axes are taken care of and you don't have to worry about anything moving around in travel. Let's take a look at the cases for the cameras. This is the new X5 case compared to the much smaller original X3 case and you can imagine that this does not fit in the original Inspire case that it comes with. However, they've actually kept the same case so I'll show that just really quick here the same case but just the slot for the camera looks different and it fits in like that so there you go close that up all right so that covers most of it in terms of the camera itself the mount system is very similar it just twists off like this and there's actually a little keyed in slot in the back that it goes in. Lean it forward. So here's the X5. What's great about this system and the Micro Four Thirds system is it has a locking interchangeable lens mount. So you just unlock it on top here, press this button on the bottom and turn counterclockwise and this will be compatible with a number of Olympus lenses as well as this is the original 15 millimeter DJI stock lens that the X5 comes with. We'll put that back on here. On top you'll have your micro USB port as well as the SD card slot. So that's that. We'll go ahead and put it right back in here into the keyed in slot push it upwards and go ahead and slide to close. All right, so let's talk about some of the spec differences between the X3 and the X5. In terms of sensor size, the X5 is larger than the sensor in the X3, which people are really excited about for this camera and allows it to have that micro four thirds lens. In terms of effective pixels for photography, the X3 is able to shoot 12.4 megapixels while the X5 shoots 16. Now in terms of ISO, the X3 is able to shoot up to 3200, while the X5 is upgraded to 25600. Now if we're talking about lens optics and aperture settings, the X3 will always be at f2.8, 
while the X5, it will depend on the lens that you have on board. With the stock lens, you're looking at a range of f1.7 to f16. The X5 also gives you the ability to do a manual follow focus as well as an auto touch point focus using your screen for those of you who don't want to have an infinite depth of field for all of your shots. So those are the different specifications that will really matter for these two cameras. Now we're gonna jump into a side-by-side -side comparison of footage so you have a really good idea of what to expect out of these cameras. First shot here, we have the Zenmuse X3 on top and X5 on bottom. Any of the footage that you're gonna see in these clips are gonna be raw and straight from the camera, 4K resolution at 30 frames a second. So we'll just keep the footage playing. As you can see, it looks like the X3 field of view is a little bit wider. That's because, as we said earlier, the, it's the equivalent of a 20 millimeter lens on a full frame camera, and the X5 is the equivalent of a 30 millimeter lens on a full frame camera. It does seem like the X3 is a little bit sharper, actually, just on initial view here. However, there's, it's very possible that it goes through a sharpening processor before coming out of the camera. Let's go ahead and pause here and then we'll actually do some zooms in so you can have a good idea of what it looks like. The next shot we have here is four camera setups. We have the X5 with the stock lens, the X5 with the Olympus lens so that we can compare it correctly with the GH4 and of course the X3. These are cropped in a little bit so we are losing out on, on resolution. Uh, but you can get a good idea of the coloration of these sensors and how they process the images. So this will be full 4K resolution. We just crop the top and the bottom on all of these so that you can get a full sense of what these cameras are capable of and what they look like. So we're just going to let the footage run here so you can take a look at it and make your own conclusions about the quality of the X5 versus these other camera setups. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And if you want more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until then, we'll see you next time.